Good afternoon, Jules fans. Welcome back to another match day live from Jules in the Blood TV. It is Gillingham versus League leaders Wickham Wanderers this afternoon. It is about five to two. No team news yet as we walk to the Priestfield, but the big interview you've all been waiting for. Stocky, crossbar challenge today, mate. Easy. How are you feeling? I'm all right at the moment. When I get on that pitch later. That's not what you said in the car. <laughs> when I get on that pitch later, I'll probably have wobbly legs, but... Skitty legs. Skitty legs, yeah. But Very nice. I'm going to ping it. It's going to hit the bar, knee slide in front of the crowd. Jobs are good. At... The reality is... Right, let's I'll just... If that master plan out, doesn't right. quite go to plan... What? If that master plan doesn't quite get pulled off, yeah. then what happens? Right, best case scenario, <laughs> hit the bar. Yep. Second best scenario, all three go in, so I can say I scored a hat trick at the rain and then. Okay. And I don't fall over. Worst case scenario, fall over. Fall over. <laughs> and, it, and probably injure myself. And miss all three. Yeah. <laughs> what can go wrong? Buzz. <laughs> yes. You can be a. Uh, Mark Lawrence to my Alan Hansen for this uh, bit. <laughs> what do we think you know, is happening out of them three options? Um, I mean, there's a bit of me that hopes he hits at the same time he won't shut up. Maybe if he slips and falls over, maybe we won't shut up. It's a low pressure. Very nice, is it? <laughs> Should be supportive. And what did the uh, final results end up on your Twitter poll? 18% <laughs> think I'm going to hit it. I've 18. Got, yeah, 18. That's so 1 8, not 8 0. Yeah, 1 8. I've now got a load of Twitter accounts to delete. <laughs> so <I'm laughs> <boosting> <laughs> the follow list on Jules and the Blood Injury time has gone down in the last 24 hours. And 82% think I'm not going to hit it. Well, it's now 2 o'clock. Prove the haters wrong. We're just going to have a look for some team news and give it about an hour and a three quarters, then we're going to find out exactly what does happen. Hi, Glenn now in the build-up to the game. Team News has just been announced. Glenn, how are you doing first anyway, mate? You all right? I'm all, mate. And you good, self? Very well, thank good. you very much. Good to hear, mate. Good. A couple of changes from last week's draw at Tranmere. Uh, Alex de Kubiak only fit enough for the bench, it seems. One of those affected by this virus in the camp in the week. Yeah. And yeah. Mark Marshall. Yeah. Apparently okay. very good in the friendly in the week. Comes in for Ben Pringle. Aside from that, it's nine yeah. that it started last week. Yeah, what I'm do you not, think? Yeah, I think uh, now everyone's got options. Uh, I know how bad this virus is. I don't know. Pringle, perhaps he's been rested. That was his first trot out for us last week. And we've got options now. And I can't remember the last time that we were chatting before kickoff. We were be chatting about different formations. Who's going to play where? Who's going to do what? You know, there's, there's luxury now for us. Um, I think, again, it's a good side he's putting out. Um, and just to go back to last week, I didn't actually go myself, but um, Tranmere fan who I know well texted me and said our best players on the day were Ogilvy and Jakubiak. So, you know, looking at the neutral view, um, unfortunately we had a mad seven or eight minutes, one of those things. Not the first um, time, is it? Nope, it's, not it's, not us. <laughs> it's not, unfortunately. But, um, you know, it's coming together. And uh, today's selection, I've... I think, again, I still think Evans doesn't know what his best 11 is, you know, despite a virus amongst the camp. Well, apparently, Charles Foote was flying midweek, and now he's not even in the uh, Well, in he's the just, I've just listened to Steve Evans' interview that's just gone up on the Twitter page, and it says that if we had more options, so I think that might be a hint to Scully that we need one or two in, Jakubi, that wouldn't be on the bench. Right, yeah. And he's also said that Regan um, tried to hide it from the medical team that he was that he was OK, but yeah. then effectively just gave up well, and had to go home. So. Yeah, I don't think, to be fair, after his um, showing at Coven uh, Birmingham against Coventry, that was the right thing to do. He was pulled off early there. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to today. Uh, we can have come down here top of the league and we do well against teams that are uh, A few of their the big signings with him though, which is uh, obviously a bit of a help to us. Looking at it uh, you know, before the game, obviously we've still got to do our jobs correctly. Yeah, absolutely. But um, no Fred on your dimmer at all. Yep. Uh, Rolando, uh, was Aaron's on the bench? No, he, he was uh, missing completely, wasn't he? Uh, no Bloomfield. Yeah, David right. Wheeler only fit enough yep. for the bench. So, Good. and Good. Paul Smith unavailable as well. So yeah, a lot that they bought in in the summer have not yeah. made it, which is apparently Jill's targets as well. Um, apparently so. If you uh, read the new newspaper in the week, yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, but we couldn't the... compete financially. Another plea for cash. <laughs> All these little mixed messages and little, you know, little covert things being said. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but there's always, you know, I saw it in midweek that there is money in the budget. You know, yeah, that's, I, think that's we'll, I still think we'll get one or two. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. But, uh, you know, they've come here top of the league. Apparently they put Lincoln to the sword last week, which is no mean feat, although they did lose, obviously, their, their manager uh, or managers. So, I, I don't know. Uh, I think we're good enough to win today. We, we do well against teams who come down here at the top of the league. 
um, I, I, I think we can win today with the side that's been put out. Again, it's a, a side that shows a little, a little bit of strength in depth. And as Mr Evans keeps saying, one or two more would really just put the icing on the cake. But I think it'll be an entertaining game, that's for sure. Right, pressing question that we ask every week. Score prediction? Well, I'm not going to all because it will happen because I've predicted that twice. <laughs> so I'm going to go 2-0 deals this week. And I'm going to go uh, Lee and Jaku uh, Lee and Jakubiak from the bench, actually. I think he'll be fit enough. You love a goal scorer from the oh, bench. Oh, I love it. I love it will happen it eventually. <laughs> I've said 2-1 okay, if we defend properly. I think right. Boz said 2-all. And Stocky, what did you say? Score prediction? 1-all. So two wins and two draws. Well, Kieran has said 1-all. So Kieran has said 1. I'll take any of them to be fair. Oh, yeah, that would uh, be all right against the side that's unbeaten. Absolutely. I'm also just uh, want to give a mention to who I think has been, you know, not mentioned too much, but has uh, really shone for uh, Jack Bonham. I think he's been a great signing. And, um, you know, apart from the, uh, the error at Coventry, He's been outstanding and very good last week by all accounts. Absolutely. Another penalty save. Absolutely. Just right. weren't out by his dozing in front of him, was he, unfortunately? Right. I mean, he was good at Donny first game. And, you know, let, I'll be honest, I think there's a couple of times perhaps we, we could have actually lost instead of drawn. So I think he's a great signing. And I've you know, been an ex goalkeeper myself. OK, I'll stick up for him. But we well, can compare next Saturday. <laughs> yeah, he's not done the other much one wrong. will be coming back, won't he? He next will weekend, be. So. He will be. Um, you know, not that I wish on him, but a howler from Tom Ash would be lovely next week. And a 1 0 win for the Jules in the 89th minute. But, you know, let's see what Let's happens. Get through this one first. Enjoy the game, mate. I think he's looking for quite a few different ones, and he so he can get like more vlogs of more games across the country. Yeah. Special guest in the build up to today's game against the league leaders. No, Rach, it's not you, sorry. No. Special guest today is Caitlin. How old are you, Caitlin? Five. Five? Oh. Is that big? Is that big? Yeah? Are you looking forward to the game? Yeah. Are we going to win? Yeah. How many goals are the other team going to get? Three, 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 yeah? And do you know who's going to score the goals or do you not really care? <laughs> Don't really care? No? As long as it's Jules, it do not matter, does it? Right, before you go, I've got one more job for you. Can you give me a high five? And then you've got to say, up the Jules. Samuel again, I think it was, wasn't yeah, it? He just out of aim, and he got a nick, but it was not. Comfortably like wider than the opposed. At the other end, we've threatened to get in behind a couple of times without really doing it. Mark Marshall's had one in the ball, wasn't he? Yeah. Delivery could be better again, though, couldn't it? He's not on here, but he's not on here. No, it's a very even game, and in a way, a chance is, um, it isn't. Chance really gets something in a mix of balls. Not a lot happens. Ollie Lee, free kick, hasn't beat the front man. That's been the story of our delivery so far, hasn't it? I'm going to have to come all the way. Don't lose it there. Stay with us a sec. Marshall's kept it. Fuller's. It's a very bitty game, isn't it? At the moment, lots of fouls, lots of people falling over, being stopped every couple of minutes. Not one for the uh, purists at the moment. Still nil nil, 26 on the track. Pretty big here by the dangerous area, this one as well. He's just got to go. Oh, he needs it, I fancy. He's going to have to go inside to out If not, surely Mark Marshall left foot would be the more sensible option, but Lee's definitely on it up. Yeah, Marshall's walked off. 
Keep was wasting his time. Referee's time to get on his line. This is good. 72 play. Here he comes now, Mikhail and Jolly. Central, little dink, that's not a bad ball actually. Oh, I must get it in, but get it. I thought it was a better ball than it actually was. Go on, Mark Marshall! Good delivery, son! Stand up, my God! Go on! Oh, that's good defending in fairness. Oh, man, he was just going to knock it in at the far post, but really good defending. Cox just ticks over to 80 minutes and we still lead 2 minutes. Corner to defend here, boss. We don't want going in here, do we? Because we'll get all twitchy again. Defend it properly, please defend it properly. It's gone all the way out the far side and hopefully it will run out of play. Uh, he's kept it in, oh, he's managed to win a throw in for them. 86 on the clock, it looks like it's difficult to see the scoreboard because of the sun. Stay with us. Jules defend it properly. Foul throw, Nigel's given it. Three seconds. Second foul forward again, how often have we seen that? Yeah, there was one down here at all. Nearly there, but got to be sensible for the last four minutes plus injury time. We still lead by Priestfield Stadium and it is finished. Gillingham 2, previously unbeaten league leaders, Wickham Wanderers nil. Boys, second half, as good much, as we've been all season better. for me. Yep. Brilliant, enjoyed it, enjoyed that second half. Flat first half, not a lot happened from either side, but we more than deserved the win based on the second half performance. I think so, yeah, 100%. Yep. We didn't give them a sniff second half. I can't remember Jack Bottom having to make a proper save all game. No, no. there's a couple of tame, comfortable ones, isn't there? Down low, but nothing major. In terms of going forward, I thought we were a real threat second half. I thought, um, thought the substitution was wrong at the time, happy to admit that. Yeah, I think a lot <laughs> of people did. thought the substitution was I question whether sure. Steve Evans had been watching the game when he decided to take Mikhail Mandrin off, but within about two minutes, Brandon Allen had come up and seconds. set the first goal up for Mikhail and Jolly, and it was it's a great finish from Mika in fairness. Yep. I'm not sure how he's managed to get it there, to be quite frank, so fair play to him. Probably knows he weren't at his best, but super, super goal, and then really good penalty as well, wasn't he? Yeah. No, no. And that it's a stone baller. That seems Absolutely. to wake him up as well after and Jolly. And them goals seem to boost his performance and he was making runs that he weren't really making before that. No, I I it's a lot of needless running, wasn't it? I can't I remember him having a meaningful touch for the first 60 minutes or so of the game. And then, Boz, I think you compared him to that Tom Eves game against South End a couple of seasons ago. Yeah, he had a sniff and then completely different player as soon as he got a goal. And, Penalty's really, really good, and that's not the first time this season, is it, Scott? We see him bury one against Newport as well yeah. in the old uh, Caravel Cup a few weeks ago. What do we think of the uh, sponsors' man of the match, though? No, like, it's just ridiculous. No. Like, it's it obvious, just sums isn't it? it up, doesn't it? Like, someone scores twice. I said to you in the ground, and I wonder if it's just people who go for the commercial. Part. So, if you clipped another one of yours under the crossbar at half time, <laughs> you'd have got man of the match. Yeah, true. So, you just didn't think too bigger much picture, power. Bigger picture. Too much power. Um, we had a couple of contenders, didn't we? But I think we've got a few that we really, really can't split. Stand out ones, yeah. 
you said Thomas O'Connor, didn't you stop Yeah, me? for me, he really impressed me. Um, always solid at left back, good going forward as well, good linking up with Mark Byrne, who also had a good game. And uh, it just impressed me. When he first came to us, I thought he seemed a bit shaky, but for me, he's really grown into the squad and into league football as well. Yeah, because the Bolton game, which was his debut, you couldn't really go into good because no. he was a kid playing against more kids, unfortunately. And we watched him against Colchester, didn't we, in the yeah. uh, leasings.com, and he looked a little bit suspect that night, but like you say, he's only a kid. I said Mark Byrne. I said Byrne. And we, the other one I think we said as well was Connor Oak, but he was immaculate at centre half yeah. today. I thought him and Max Amar did really well to deal with the threat of had a bow acting Fenwar who for me didn't have a sniff, did he? No, he was getting very frustrated today. Yeah, he he seems to be winching quite a lot, yeah. So I think that's a sign the defenders have done well if he's yeah. getting frustrated. That's it, yeah. And uh, nothing special mention to a bloke who probably only played the last 25 minutes. Brandon Andon, game changing performance for me, really, yeah. really good. Looked like he had a point to prove as well, and I think he did that. Just that pace to burn. That's exactly. Absolutely rinsed the fullback, yeah. didn't he? For, for, the the, for the first goal, yeah, he's absolutely annihilated him. I think he'd done it once or twice after that as well. So well, I think a special mention for Marshall as well. Um, we spoke in the past few weeks and we've not been entirely infused about his performances but I thought he'd done well second half today and definitely got better we said didn't we think he's getting fitter his work rate you see he's got an injury on him last couple of minutes of injury time and he's still tracking back into his own box so I think he'll only get better just had a look at the league table up to 13th I think 14th, 14th, 14th. 9 points only 4 points off the playoff it's not been a disastrous start still, has it we've only lost 2 right. games out of 7 in the league anyway yeah. oh no I just think if we can you know shape up defensively um, going forward we seem alright it's just defensively I don't think we're tested too much today next week is a massive test I oh, know we've got a game midweek as well in Bristol, Bristol Rovers, Bristol Rovers. Well. I think they've beaten Lincoln City today as well so yeah. that's a good result for them and then next Saturday yeah, so it's James Norwood. Yeah, the return of goals. what are we going to sing to Thomas Holy now then because we've now he's, he's pinched his song for Ollie Lee so unless we just have to sing it to him together yeah. anyway that's enough from us this afternoon. A really, really good performance from the boys. Really enjoyable afternoon out. Stocky didn't quite win a wine and dine evening, but he did get himself a sign football, which he's generously donated. Um, as always, you know where we are. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. And until next time, from all of us, up the Jills.